Hello friend, myself Sambhu and I have total eight plus eight plus years of experience in IT industry and today I will demonstrate how you can use Azure Active Directory authentication to prevent unauthorized, unauthorized access of any Azure resource and today I will show you demo with the Azure Active Directory with the Azure storage account. How we can prevent unauthorized access for a particular storage account. So I have created one PPT. Let's go to there. So Azure Active, uh, this is my introduction part. And what is my agenda today? Introduction, overview, high level architecture, live demo, Java and Python. Let's go to introduction. What is Azure AD? Why we need that? Azure AD is a Active Directory features basically to prevent, like I said, prevent unauthorized access of any Azure resource, of an, any Azure resource. And I will show you how we can prevent for storage account and why we need that for a storage account, first of all. The storage account, we have access, we can access by using storage account access key. But what the problem here is like, uh, there is no way to achieve or there is no way to prevent unauthorized access, okay, like, uh, upcoming request or who is accessing that particular storage account is the right access have or not or is the read or write or delete whatever access have. that kind of mechanism by using access key we cannot do that to overcome this or to achieve this uh, we are we are going to use uh, like azure active directory so we'll go to the next so this is high level uh, demo uh, so high level architecture so this is the Azure Active Directory here. We have like a service principal, application and secret key. This all we need to, I will show you how in, uh, Azure portal, how we need to do this all. Uh, and then this is the client. Once clients request for the token, then it will get the token. And once they got the token, then by using that, they can able to access any storage block. And we can uh, uh, assign some role in that particular storage block, like who can access uh, uh, for uh, uh, for this particular storage account. Either is a read or write access. And service principle is nothing but like on behalf of you, it's a uh, granting your upcoming request. And client secret is nothing but is the password and uh, application you need to register on behalf of you. It will uh, it will uh, grant your uh, upcoming access or and demo we'll go for demo so let's jump to the browser and first i will first i will go through that uh, in which all way we can achieve this there are many approaches basically to use that azure active directory to authenticate so i will show you that uh, this service principle authentication with service principle with the uh, client secret authentication there are another approach also client certificate authentication but today i will demonstrate client secret authentication this one and this is the azure portal page so if you want you can go through this i will provide this link to this my video so that you can take a look it's also and let's to the, go to the portal this is my account i have created so you can also create a free account and for that uh, student account you don't need any credit card but if you want a uh, 12 month free uh, trial account then you need to provide one credit card by using that details you can create but there is there uh, there won't be any charge for that so just to validate you are the right uh, user or not to get uh, azure portal access and until you go for uh, go by uh, with uh, pay until you go for uh, pay it will not be charged from your credit card so that is totally secure okay let's go to to our agenda today so let's first go to the azure active directory so i have already one default tenant so in that first uh, like i showed you in that high level architecture i need to register one apps here and then service principal, then client secret. So I will go one by one. So this is my tenant, Azure Active Directory tenant. So now go to the app registration and then click on new app registration and then give the app name, whatever app name I have already registered. So I will not create again one more. Then select which tenant you want to use, single tenant, default tenant or multi-tenant. And below one more option is the optional. To redirect URL. Basically, this is the landing your landing zone your uh, response landing zone. Basically, if you are using web application or 
uh, ASOSO kind of thing. Then you know, fire the response would land. So that purpose basically we're using. So in our case, we, we don't want this one. So I have the standard on applications. So this is like app, register apps. So once that is done, then uh, uh, I since I have already app registration. So let's uh, go to that my apps. And then we need to go client secret or certificate. So I, I, our agenda is by client secret. So I have already created one secret. If you want, you can create here also. It's a very simple step. Give the description, whatever description you want. Uh, then how many day you want to expire, which date it will be expired. Here one more option. We have customer uh, custom option also. So you can customize this also. I have already created friends, so I will not create again. So I will utilize this uh, this uh, client secret. Client secret is nothing but a password for the particular apps. OK, so this is also done for me uh, now. Go. So the, for now from here I need to copy three things. Uh, so let's uh, show me this one. Uh, application ID. This application ID is nothing but client ID and then tenant ID. This tenant ID also I need while I will communicate and I need that secret client secret value basically what I created that also. I already uh, copy that in my code so I can utilize that here. I have already copied. So let's uh, go to. Now uh, our demo is for storage account, so we need one storage account. I have already created one storage account. If you want, you just click here storage account and create. Just simply click on create, then give the details. So for you, it will redirect to that particular create page, and you need to give all the details here, and uh, then you can create. So since I have already created, so I will not create new one. So directly I will go my storage account, and here we can assign the role, like which kind of role I want. And in beginning, I was telling you right that uh, uh, storage account we can access by using access key, but here problem is like we don't have any mechanism to prevent that unauthorized access. I mean to say like uh, who can access who have the right read access permission that we cannot do programmatically anyone can access by using this key. So and we need in our demo Python demo. We need this uh, uh, connection string so that also I need to copy in, our, in my code. So I already copied in my code that connection string. So this is the my connection string here. I have that account name, so I already have copied here. So now I will assign the role. Access control I am OK, so here already I have assigned some role here and just quickly show you here. So for blob, what role I gave contributor role. Contributor role is nothing but like uh, uh, like uh, that upcoming user can access uh, uh, access the storage account and then read and write and delete permission basically. And to uh, show you define permission, I have uh, created another uh, another uh, another queue. So in that queue, I just only give the read permission. Only can read from the queue. There are uh, this. Uh, for this particular app in this particular queue, not able to write anything or delete or edit. Only the, this queue, this particular app from this queue, whatever message we have that can be read, readable only, read permission. So I will quickly show you how we can assign this role. Click on add role. And here we have list of many roles. Which one you want? You can select any role. And then next. And then we need to select the service principle here. And just uh, we, service principle is nothing but on behalf of us. Or on behalf of you, who uh, who will be the uh, grant your permission, uh, grant your authentication to by using that ID. So I have already created this. So uh, a service principle Azure uh, app. So these apps I need to select and then select. Then this permission will be here next. So I have already created friends, so I will not create again. You can see here I have given two different role here. So this is also done for me. I copied that X, uh, connection string also and uh, now let's go to container what I have here. In my container what I have here like these are the image I have so uh, and then go to my uh, this one. Go to my uh, queue what I have here in that queue. In the demo one I have created the demo one queue. You can create easily that uh, and you can add message also that is very simple demo. Maybe demo 56. I just add here just simply one message and 
just select then you can see now our application which I have written in Python. So this application only can read this queue. That's the permission I gave. But while you try to write this something message in the queue, it will say give the error. We don't have the permission or permission mismatch. So for that, uh, uh, let's go for jump to the code. So what I need here. So let's show you. The hot all dependency basically before jump to the code what all dependency I need here Azure identity and for blob I using the 12.12.0 and for uh, storage queue I am using the 12.3.0. So these three dependency it's very simple. We can easily download uh, by using Python command and we can install it. So let's uh, go to the code and here what we are doing. So this is the demo for queue and queue on the read access. So what we are doing that app client credential basically what we are doing the tenant tenant ID just now I showed you and client ID nothing but the application ID and client signature is nothing but the password for the particular application. I have already created those and those and I have copied here all this uh, variable. So and app credential I got then my queue name uh, which is my queue name. So here my demo one so that uh, the queue name I need to give and then uh, that connection string uh, for that particular storage account uh, here account name it is taking and endpoint and these are the default uh, protocol which protocol it is using to access this and then what we are doing we are displaying that message this is display function display message function from the queue and this is like a adding message to the queue suppose it's trying to add this 30 cent OK, let's run this program. So our expectation here is it should throw an error. Let's run this program. So now while it's trying to add, it's showing like authentic author, authorization permissions mismatch. But just now I showed you like 57 we added here. So now they can read. This is the read permission we get in that queue for the particular queue. If you go here, if you see that role only have the read access. So that's why uh, this program uh, we can able to read the message, but we cannot add the message. That's why it is giving uh, this error message. If we are trying to uh, uh, send this message. So while we are trying to send this message, it's giving the error. OK, now let's uh, go to that blob for blob. I have created Java. So in beginning I mentioned like client secret credential uh, we are using here. So I am just uh, this is my uh, account name like uh, my storage account name. The endpoint URL I need here and then tenant ID need here client secret same as Python and client ID. We have that endpoint I need here and then container which container uh, I want to access and then uh, what file I want to download this 9282489 I'm just trying to download here. If you go here my storage account, let's go here, go to container, then go to test container. Then this file I am trying to download here. If you go here, I don't have this file here, so it will download here. This is like a read access and I am trying to upload one file as your DC. If you go here, like Azure DC, we don't have this file, so this is like a write permission. So let's run this program. We'll see what happened here. It's running. So it's running. Let's see. Still, it is running. Yes, complete. So let's go to that browser. We'll see it's uh, uploaded. See, just now this is the today date, so uh, 525. Two, so it's uploaded. So it is a write access. Now let's go to the read. See this file is downloaded. <clears throat> so this is how we are segregating like two different permission. So for uh, so far now. So uh, I think if you see here for the blog, we gave like a contributor role. So contributor role is like a, they can read, write, and delete also. So that's why that uh, this particular app for the particular uh, uh, blob they can uh, read and write and by Python code we just now see that uh, it's only read access uh, not able to uh, not able to write anything. So it was giving that uh, permission error. So it's a very simple friend. So 
and uh, I will I will paste that uh, uh, this uh, link, whatever link I just showed you. So in the video, so you can also take a look and please subscribe my channel if you like this and please share with your friend. So next up and uh, if you subscribe and uh, click on my bell icon so that you will get uh, upcoming uh, whatever cloud related or the latest Java or AWS, I will upload video so that you can quickly get a notification. And so please do the subscribe my channel. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching this video.